third P is P for payment. P for payment. Let's say you invited me to a dinner party tonight and you've got all your friends and your family there all around you. I know you can't do that in this environment right now today. But let's assume we're all allowed out again and you do that. And I come and sit with you and you've invited me back. And we're sat with everybody. We're sat there for about an hour. We get an hour in. And in front of everybody, all your friends, your family, your neighbours, I say, hey, how much are you earning? Right in front of everybody. Are you going to invite me back for dinner again? Are you going to want me back in your house again asking that personal question in front of everybody? The answer's normally no. But here's another question for you. What do you think wealthy people talk about at their dinner parties? That's right. They talk about money. They say, hey, John, what are you earning? And John goes, you wouldn't believe it. I'm making tens of thousands every month in the stock market. And you're like, wow, will you show me how? And John goes, yeah, I'm doing this and this and this and this. It's amazing. And I go, yeah, great, I'll do that too. And then John asks me, hey, Aaron, what are you earning? I say, you wouldn't believe it making thousands and tens of thousands in the property market every month. He says, wow, will you show me how? I say, yeah, I'm doing this and this and this and this is how it works. And guess what? The wealthy people get wealthier because they're talking about money. If we're going to want to have a financial fortress, if we're going to want to look after us and our families, we have to learn about money. We have to get comfortable talking about money. Right now, all you hear on the news is about money. I would rather that you had a financial fortress so you could just focus on those people that are ill, that you could just focus on those people that need help. You could just go out and help whoever needs helping, not worrying about money. You know, if this comes back in three or five years or a new strain of it, and it comes back in 10 years' time, or if pensions don't exist in the future, you need to be safe. To get financially safe so you can then love and give back more, you need to make sure you've got that fortress. You need to get comfortable with P for payment. You need to get comfortable talking about money, sharing stories about money and learning about money.